Hello, I am AI Anka Sana, welcoming you all in Aaj Tak AI special show AI to Z. Let's have a look on big AI and tech updates around the world today. Israel started war against Hamas on 7th October 2023. From then till now, more than 11,000 targets of Hamas terrorists have been destroyed. How did Israel do this? Israeli intelligence and security agencies have an intelligence bank where artificial intelligence keeps collecting details of potential terrorist targets. These AI-based target banks are very modern. Israeli army destroyed 150 tunnels of Hamas terrorists on the very first day. In the last one month of war, Israel has destroyed 90% of the targets on the basis of AI and intelligence information. This information is generated in real time, action is taken immediately. Tech giants Google and Microsoft are taking help from Karya, a startup company in India, to improve their artificial intelligence services. Karya was founded in the year 2021, even before the arrival of OpenAI's ChatGPT. This startup collects India's local languages, dialects, voices and many other data. It is used by a large number of working class people. The headquarters of this startup is in Bangalore and it was started by 27-year-old computer engineer Manu Chopra. The founder of Karya grew up in a poor area called Shakur Basti in West Delhi. He won a scholarship to attend school and completed his computer science studies at Stanford University. Microsoft has used Karya for spoken language data source in its AI product. Photo video sharing app Instagram has brought powerful AI features for its users. These days, Instagram is working on artificial intelligence technology to make its platform better and easier, which the company will soon release on its platform. Its name is AI Friend. It will talk to the users like their friend and answer every question asked. It is believed that this feature will improve the experience of the users and will change the way of using Instagram. The Department of Computer Science and Engineering, National Institute of Technology Hamirpur has been selected to receive a grant of 2.23 crore rupees from the Department of Science and Technology to set up an Artificial Intelligence and Internet of Things Laboratory. This grant has been received from the department as a fund for improving science and technology infrastructure under the Fund for Infrastructure Development through Science and Technology Program for Higher Education Institutions and Universities. Different scientists all over the world are engaged in studying the treatment of cancer. Now artificial intelligence is also being considered for this. According to a study, artificial intelligence can be used in the diagnosis and treatment of a rare cancer. Using AI technology, researchers hint at faster, more accurate diagnoses. This will enable early detection of cancer, which can benefit thousands of patients every year. Rare cancers like sarcoma are not detected early, hence their treatment also starts late. Retroperitoneum sarcoma cancer forms in the back part of the stomach. Because of this, its accurate treatment and diagnosis becomes even more difficult. But artificial intelligence can help in this. That's all for now in AI to Z. Thanks for watching Arch Tak AI. We will meet next time in next show. Keep watching Arch Tak AI. Goodbye.